Hello everyone, this is Rear Puncture and we're back with F1 2015 for race number 5, the Spanish Grand Prix. As you can see, our practice, we're the slowest car on the grid, according to the speed trap. Here we are at the circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia for the so we're going to go to qualifying one. It won't be long now until Spain is not one of my uh, better track tracks, side. but we'll see how we do here. First we'll take a look at our setup. Running 6-3 wings. Transmission we didn't do much. Suspension geometry we do that. Suspension is that. Tire pressure we didn't mess with. We move the weight a little bit back. And here we go with qualifying one. We're coming up to the line. I think the Q1 session has posed a lot of questions. It'll be interesting to see how they're answered in the next two sessions. And we end up in uh, fifth, which is pretty good. Our teammate down in 18th didn't make it out of qualifying one. We're still uh, 1.3 seconds away. Here we go with qualifying two. Qualifying two is now finished. We've got a short break now before the cars appear again for the top 10 shootout. And we make it into qualifying three. We're in eighth. We improved on our qualifying one time by two tenths, but that still only got us eighth. So here we go with qualifying three. Like I said before, Spain is not one of my uh, one of my better tracks, but. It seems to suit the McLaren for most of it, except for the uh, the main straight, where we're just like deathly slow. Although we're running a lot of a lot of wing, but we're doing all right here. where we usually have trouble here is going into the second DRS zone here. We seem to do it, have done it alright for this one. We're going just a tad wide onto the AstroTurf. This is, this lap's looking pretty good. Alright, we're coming up to the line and see where we finish. We're happy. Engineer is friendly and happy. We like it. And we end up in fourth. We improved on our qualifying time by almost a second. But we're still about a half a second away from Kimi Raikkonen who finished on pole. Kimi says he doesn't read much into securing Kimi Raikkonen seems to be uh, and that it's only the, main event the, the guy matches. in my game that is no the qualifying the best. Does give the Finn a real chance to land some desperately needed points. So we'll take a look at our tire strategy. We're starting out on options uh, which we used in our qualifying. They want us to make two stops come in on lap 20 or 21 and put another set of options on and then come in on lap 39 or 40 for a set of primes. Although Spain is a high degradation track so I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. You might have to switch to a three stop but we'll we'll make our best effort to try for the two stop. There's the lights. Our engineer is a little wanting to go for. We spin it off the off the line. We get a horrendous start. We're we're already down in P7. 
we've already lost three places. Although Ricardo's going a little slowly here, so we're going to go by him and get back in the sixth. I don't know what it is with our starts in the game, but we're we're horrible at starting. Now we're just in a big line. Just tucking in between everybody here. It's weird seeing Hamilton right in front of us. That shouldn't be happening with us in the McLaren, but... McLaren is OP in this game. For what they are in real life. Keeping up with everybody at least, so we got that going for us. We're we're making an ambitious move on the inside here, and we kind of squeezed out Hamilton, and that's the end of the first lap. We're moving into lap four, tires are hot, softer into the where our tires are a, a little hot, just a tad, and we totally went past the braking zone, and that let Hamilton go by us. And now we're down, back down in the sixth. But we're going to go try to get them back on the DRS straight on this little, well, this little DRS. Going to go on the inside. Hamilton goes out in the middle of nowhere. And that allows us to get by him. But then on the main street, Hamilton's behind us. He's not behind us anymore. The, the speed of the Mercedes is well past ours, although he's going really slowly and we kind of sneak by him again and maintain P5, although on the next lap, on the main straight here again, he's still there, but, and now he's there. And this time we don't have enough to sneak by him and he stays ahead of us. So now we're moving ahead to lap 15 in the 16. A couple cars are in the pits. There's Raikkonen, we're gonna go by him to get into P3. We go a little wide. And then on the next lap, or lap 17, we go by another car to get into P2 and we're asking about our fuel situation and our car seems to be powered by miracles. Although on lap 17 our engineer is warning us that our tires are dead and yet we have no grip. We can't turn so that Raikkonen got by us so we're back down to P3. We're gonna come in and put on our set of option tires. We're a few laps short of our of our target. Complete. Go now. We've been pushing hard, but up to speed now. we're not Let's really catching up to anybody, but nobody's really catching up to us either. So we're coming out in P7, and then lap 20. Looks like Ricardo yeah, is in the pits. So we're up in the P6 again. I'm going to go to lap 23 here. We're lapping uh, one of the uh, the Marushas. We, get, we go a little deep into this corner. And we got... He ran into us. We're going to take a look at that again. There's us. We took the corner badly. And he just ran into us and spun out. Don't know what's up with that, so not a whole lot happened after that, so we're on lap 20, 32, we're coming in again. So our tires are going off again. We're gonna change it up into a three stop. 
We're gonna put on our set of options on. Go, go, go. You'll be able to push and it looks like we're gonna be tires are up to speed. getting back out in seventh place. Lap 40, 41. Ricardo's in the pit lane. Going by him. I think. Yeah. And back up in the P6. Not a whole lot happened after that. P lap 45, we're coming in. Gonna put on our set of primes. For the last 20 laps. They should be good for that. In P9 this time. And in lap 47, we're going to ask about our fuel situation. We passed the car in the pits, but our we, we've been running in rich for like this whole time. Lap 48, passed another car in the pit lane. But like I said, our car is powered by miracles because we're it's, it's we've been in rich like this whole time. For like the last like 30 some laps. Ricardo's going really slowly. And lap 49 here and we're going by him. We're going to take a look and see what happened to him. There's a Lotus. You know he just kind of ran into him. As they came out of the pit lane. And then you see him just go really slowly. I don't see any damage on him but. He's just creeping along. And there we go. And that's about all there is to this race. It was a pretty uh, lonely race for most of it after the uh, the first, you know, five or six laps. Because after Hamilton got away, we pretty much didn't see anybody else for the rest of the race. Like Massa, we were consistently a couple tenths faster than him for most of the laps. But like I said, we were running in red. Like, I'm still in rich now, and we were not haven't run out of fuel. We're not even close to running out. So I don't know if our car is powered by miracles or... The Honda engine is just that good. So we ran in rich for like 50 some odd laps. Oh, we're going to the gravel, hit the wall, blew up the DS, DRS sign, and make it across the line. Now, what a finish! That was a, uh, a dignified finish. To that race. We're not happy about almost blowing up our car about 50 meters from the finish line. So there we go. We're in sixth. Get eight points for the for the cost. Our teammate managed P12, but Kimi Raikkonen won the race. All right. Well, that was well. Nico Rosberg on race. Rick and then we got second. So that was my F1 2015 uh, race number five, the Spanish Grand Prix. If you liked this, give us a like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again. Goodbye.